Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 112 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're gonna get ourselves another fourth weapon. This one's for Zhenji of Wei. To get her weapon, you go to the Battle G18, play under the Wei forces, and obviously play as Zhenji. Alright, the equipment. Obviously we have our third weapon, the Moon Flute, seeing as how I did her campaign on this Let's Play. The items I'm going to keep the same. Bodyguards are at 8. The conditions. We have to defeat Zhuge Liang to win, and if somebody is defeated, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. Unit Info. For the Wave Forces, you have Sima Yi with Dong Ai and Sima Zhao. Zhang He with Dushi and Xin Ti, Zhen Ji, which is me with Huang Xuan, and Cao Zhen with Sun Li and Cao Hong. For the Shu forces, you have Zhuge Liang with Wang Ping, Li Hui, and Li Yan, Ma Chao with Zhang Wei and Zhang Yi, Wei Yan with Gao Xiang and Ma Dai, and Ma Su with Chen Shi. Alright, let's get started! Report from the spies! The the main shoe force has definitely camped! So, was the enemy camp pretty? What? Um, it, it was normal, I suppose! People! We must destroy their formation with a beautiful one of our own. This is the art of battle. Now, you will see! We shall take the shoe supply depot and cut their feet out from under them. I am John Way. Fight me. All units, break through the enemy defenses and find the supply depot. General Zhang He, take the enemy leader. Okay. This is what I do best. Alright, so in order for you to get the fourth weapon, you have to defeat Zhang Wei. That's it. He can be hard to find because he's a sub-general. Except for the fact that he's literally right in front of you. So you'll probably run into him right away. Of course, right now he's obviously not alone because he has Zhang Yi with him. But I think he should still be fine. I an and just like that, he's down. Perfect. Now for Zhang Yi. Please. Forgive me. And there we go, Zhang Yi is also down. That literally took no effort at all. But I think it's time to back up our units. Hold on, I didn't see where the uh, weapon appeared. Right there, actually next to Juga Liang. Alright, should I go after Wei Yan and Ma Chao? Or should I go for Ma Su? I shall destroy thee with a single blow. You know what? I think I'm gonna go after Masu. Of course, being stopped repeatedly did not help. I do destroy. Okay, I expect uh, this exchange to be a pain in the ass. But at the end of the day, if I can take care of Masu, it might actually be better for Zhang He. I'm going to ignore Chen Shi, obviously. Because he would just slow me down. I think there will be some crossbows up here too, so I gotta be careful with that. Like right here! He's got multiple squads of them! Uh, 
Let's take him out now. How about Zhang He? Now, as far as Gen G goes, I would not recommend using her six charge on an officer because they'll block it immediately and you will be wide open for a combo yourself. If you're gonna go for a six hit combo, just use the regular one. It gives you less grief. Alright, there we go. Masu is down. Should take out these crossbows too. I'm not gonna worry about picking that defense up because I already got the max defense for Jinji to develop anyway. I will take the health though. Fine, I'll pick it up so I don't have to see it anymore. Wait, did something else drop that I could use? Yes? I will use that right now. Alright, I'm gonna go around the other side, and we gotta hit Wei Yan and Ma Chao. Because it'll get really bad if the middle gets cut apart. So there's Gao Xiang, we'll defeat him next. And we'll take it from there. Fifth charge can be good for multiple hits, too. So there we go, he's down. And we'll push ourselves towards either Wei Yan or Ma Chao. But it looks like they kind of separated. Where are my other officers, too? Yeah, they're kind of split up as well. A downhill charge, like falling blossoms. My people, let's dance around them! Alright, so we definitely got things out of control now. We're getting a morale boost. And now we got some sub-officers we need to kill. Take out the Lees. I don't think they're related to one another. But they might be. They have the same commander. I guess that'll do. But I do like what Zhen Ji's uh, six combo is that instead of pushing them back, it just sends them straight down. So therefore, you can position yourself to get behind, and if you're quick, you'll get another combo. Because they can't block from behind them. If they can, there's something wrong. Am I being pelted with arrows? Yes. Over there? Okay. Oh man. Some of Zhao got beaten by Li Yan. Who was definitely ripped to shreds despite not dying. So what up with that? <laughs> Apparently he still had enough momentum. And now Lian is down. We must be triumphant. Sure, I needed the health anyway. I defeated an officer. Well, there we go. There's Ma Dai being down as well. You know what? I'm gonna pick up those items because I've been lucky with them before. Like each, the last couple episodes that we picked up items, we did get upgrades. That definitely did not feel like, like an upgrade there, being knocked off your horse. I still hate that with a passion. Oh, Wei Yan is down! That's, that's lucky we don't have to fight him. We should still go after Ma Chao. I know there's a supply depot over there that we need to take out to the left, 
but I think we should focus on eliminating the officers if we can. Oh wow, I just got pushed back immensely. Oh, nice! Rospo is definitely putting in some work. Now I know how it feels to actually benefit from them. I die with no regrets. All right, so the main officer that's left is Zhuge Liang. Don't lag behind. Although Zhao Yun does show up as reinforcements later, so we'll probably have to deal with him as well. So I think this might be our best opportunity to go after the supply depot. We'll also have to deal with Wang Ping, who's just right over there. So I think if we defeat him, we just give the Supply Depot an opening for us. Plus, he'd be Juga Leon's last sub-officer. I'll try not to go too far in, because there are crossbows. In fact, I can see them. Oh, there's Zhao Yun. All units, break through the enemy defenses and find the Supply Depot. So there we go, one king is down. I defeated an officer. Now to eliminate the crossbows. You know, we've actually commanded this battlefield Wait. quite well. Take the supply depot at once. Last, a worthy opponent. All right, now for Zhao Yu. But first, goodbye. Hopefully. Yeah, for the most part, we just took care of a whole bunch of crossbows. I think I'm gonna go seal those gates over there first. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the fourth weapon. I think it's right by that tent. And I'll know that's it, because there's no weapon crates on this map at all. In fact, I don't think there are any item crates either. Okay, so that gate's sealed. Um, should I go after the other gates too? Okay, there's the weapon. I think I should seal these gates. Sees how like crossbows can actually come out of them. And any plan to eliminate crossbows from appearing is a righteous plan in my book. Where Joe you can go? Oh, right in front of me. I need to get glasses. <laughs> Wait. How was I hit with crossbow bolts? Oh, those crossbows. Let's move out a little bit. I don't know if Zhao Yun will chase me here. But maybe I can push him. Oh, I was trying to hit him mid-swing. But he has such broad strokes. What was he doing? He was just standing there. I should not have gotten up. And I could have gotten paled. Yeah. Good thing that wasn't a thing. If this were Breath of the Wild, I would have been stabbed. If I get Septus and die. I defeated an officer. Death. In battle. Yes. Alright, so Zhao Yun is down. Oh, this that crossbow. What is that guy doing? Just, he doesn't know where to be. I'm gonna really get rid of that pot just in case I start looking for it. Oh, 
Yeah, again, we commanded this battlefield really well. Real fast. In fact, we have so minimal casualties. It's great. Of course, a few crossbows left will ruin it for everyone. There is more to me than just strategy. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you can move through deadlock while one guy's on a horse. I'm pretty sure that's not possible. Okay, now we gotta play some mental chess again. Well, these guys are busy with Jugaleon. I'm gonna have to be busy with these gates. I think we sealed all three around the shoe camp. Ow. There. We did stick. You're stronger than rumors say. That was not helpful in the slightest. Thank you for volleyballing me. Please, be careful. Sometimes you're the bat and sometimes you're the ball. And when you're the ball, you are not having a ball. Especially when you get smacked around like this. Alright, retreat for a little while. I'll let you guys take care of things. I'm pretty sure you're not all gonna collapse in front of me. Do this for your queen. Cause I have a big flute and I know how to use it. This one time in band camp? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if that girl from American Pie in band camp had a flute like this? And if you don't know, I'm not gonna tell you. Because chances are you're not old enough to know. Like, I still can't believe when I was, like, in high school that uh, some of my classmates wanted to watch American Pie in class? Of course the teacher shot that down. I say as I win this map. I can't believe I was unable to repay Lupe's trust. And there we go, that was a victory that I felt didn't slip out of our grasp at all. So yeah, weirdly enough, I was talking about American Pie, and then I penetrated Jugaleon's back with my flute. 13 minutes and 31 seconds! A palindromic time! This happens quite a lot, actually. I don't know why. But anyway, that's not it. That's not it. That's it. The Dark Moon Flute. It has no element. Speed of 23. Defense of 52. Bow attack of 50, mounted attack of 50, and reach of 25. Not bad, but not the best either. Now the items... Uh, no, we actually did not get an upgrade. That's unfortunate, but what can you do? We only killed like 57 people. That was almost pacifist. So we'll save. And there you go. I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we'll grab another fourth weapon. I think there's literally only five weapons left. If I don't remember correctly, it's Sun Shang Xiang, then Da Xiao, Sun Xuan, Zhuge Liang, and Sima Yi. So yeah, that's literally five more characters left. Guys, this is it. We're almost at the home stretch. See you, everyone.